Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luis Chavez. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based out of Southern California. In today's video, I wanna talk about my favorite photos of November. This is my reoccurring series on all the photos that I take for each month. And this is for the month of November. Um, I didn't release that many videos and take that many photos all over November because I was been all over the place. So maybe I'll go through a little bit less photos than usual, but nonetheless, uh, this series is just about um, keeping taking photos and keep practicing uh, on a daily basis. So uh, yeah, here we go. So this first photo I took on November 1st, it was taken in Pasadena, California. Um, we were there for a couple of sessions. So um, we were walking down Main Street, I believe it's called Colorado Street. And I was just kind of walking down the street and I saw these a couple of cars that were driving down the street. Um, some classic cars, like I've said before, I'm not a car guy, so, uh, all these cars look the same to me, but all these cars are passing through. They're really interesting and so I was waiting for the right opportunity to get one of these cars in frame because I really wanted also something of interest in the background, which was this red uh, bricked building. Uh, so I was really lucky to get this shot on the first try because they were driving by pretty fast, uh, which is uh, very funny. Uh, they were driving pretty fast and so I got uh, these guys kind of looking out the window a little bit. Um, as they were driving by with the brick building in the background. And so I thought it was a re really interesting photo. So for the next photo, it's also, I took it in Pasadena. And this one I wanted to frame um, because there was a lot of people walking around. And, you know, as you know, we're in a pandemic. So uh, as it is, there's not a lot of people out and about as more than usual that uh, around this time of year specifically. So I wanted to frame um, this time period or point in time in a certain way. So I thought it was really interesting. There was this palm tree. I mean, I live in California, so we have them all over the place. So there was this palm tree that kind of made like a barrier between people that were passing through and the people that were serving. So I thought it was an interesting shot because on the right side, you see someone who's working in the service industry, who's you know having to wear a mask and having to work through it. And on the right side, on the left side is people enjoying that service. And so I thought it was uh, pretty interesting to see that parallel or at least that uh, difference in, uh, in the frame. So the right and the left, kind of the different perspectives of uh, what's going on right now. So I thought uh, as a photographer, I kind of wanted to encapture that. And so hopefully I got that message across with this photo. So for the, this next photo, this was taken in Claremont, California. So like I said in the previous video, I'm trying to be a little bit more um, mindful of my framing. So I wanted to uh, play around with leading lines and stuff like that. So uh, there's this um, museum in downtown Claremont that actually was supposed to open this year, but didn't open because of uh, what's happening with COVID. So it's been kind of vacant all year long. So I always pass through it and it's like a, a beautiful building of like uh, wood and like a lot of concrete, but there's also a little bit of greenery. So I wanted to frame that. So there's this really cool um, tree in the background of this photo. And um, I kind of wanted to frame that. So I used the wooden beams to kind of frame the, the greens of this, um, um, tree. So I thought it was pretty cool because it was uh, pretty sunny that day. So uh, it created a lot of really cool shadows in the background and in the foreground. And so, yeah, so I was pretty proud of this uh, shot. Um, this photo is of my wife and my dog also in Claremont. Um, we go over there quite a bit. We uh, always talk about how uh, eventually want to move there because it's so beautiful. But you know, it's crazy expensive here in California. If you know, if you're from California, you know that uh, real estate is crazy expensive. So, uh, I'm not gonna, um, uh, it's not a, uh, immediate goal, but you know, maybe down the line. Um, so, um, this town has a lot of trees everywhere. So, um, we were walking down the street and I saw the way that the, um, the trees kind of diffused the light a little bit and it was really pretty and beautiful that day. So I wanted to get a picture of my dog and my wife as they walked down the street and I, I was pretty proud of this. So uh, as you guys know, if you're from the US, we had an election, this is an election year, and it's been uh, quite a hectic uh, election year and kind of uh, intense. So um, I took this photo on the day that the results were kind of finalized. So uh, we have a president-elect um, that's gonna come into office in January. So I kind of want to solidify that in my mind. So I was looking for, uh, specifically on this day, uh, uh, a flag uh, on a house because it's pretty American. It's a very American thing to do. So I was looking um, 
um, down the street uh, of Claremont if there was any um, American flag. So I took this photo of this home with this uh, American flag in the front and I actually uh, cropped it quite a bit. I, I initially took it in landscape, but this is more of a portrait framing. So I cropped it a little bit just to kind of frame that uh, um, American flag. And especially since there's so much green around it, I kind of wanted to make sure that um, the the pop of color was right in the center. So I was pretty proud of this. So uh, as you guys know, my the way that I make money, I'm a photographer and uh, primarily I do portraits and weddings. So uh, with COVID and everything, I haven't been able to do a lot of weddings this year, but we did do a couple of socially distanced sessions uh, with like families that we usually do every year. And so I kind of wanted to include a photo uh, that I usually would take um, as a photographer. So uh, this is of a family session and uh, it's interesting. We've had, we've taken photos of this family since the, the girls uh, were, I believe two years old or a year old. So um, uh, this is our fourth or fifth year with them. So I think that's pretty special. And so every year um, we, we take their family photos around Christmas. So um, yeah, this uh, particular photo, I really liked it in black and white uh, because uh, whenever I wanna kinda highlight emotion, especially happiness or sadness or anything like that, I usually like to edit my photos in black and white. So. This um, photo is of uh, these parents and their girls, and they're just having a good time in um, uh, in Pasadena and in City Hall. So um, yeah, I was pretty proud of this photo, so I wanted to include it. So um, we had some snow, uh, surprisingly, in California early this year. Uh, some years we don't even get snow. So we went up to Big Bear, uh, as you guys know, we frequent uh, quite a bit. So we went to up to Big Bear and we were really surprised how much snow there actually was. So um, I took my camera and I wanted to take pictures on the same trail that I usually take pictures in. And so as we were walking, we saw um, these two kids who were also on the trail and they were looking at this, um, at the uh, information sign. So I thought it was pretty cool. Um, just kind of having some, cause you know, I, I like to have some subjects in my, um, in my landscape photos or my photos that I take. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool, uh, the way that these uh, guys just came out of nowhere. So I want to take a picture of that. And so, um, I thought it was an interesting frame, especially because we don't get a lot of snow. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was a cool picture. This uh, picture was also taken on the same day, and this is of my father-in-law and my dog. Um, like I said, we had tons of snow, so I took a lot of photos that day, and um, we were there pretty early in the morning, so the uh, sun wasn't crazy high or uh, super, um, you know, how with snow, uh, light kind of bounces off and kind of creates these harsh lights sometimes, or they can create re these really, like, uh, soft um, bounce light for portraits and stuff. So um, this time of the day, I kind of wanted to just be present in the moment and just take photos of, as we were walking on the street and still t instead of just thinking of what photos to make. But I was pretty lucky to get this shot of uh, my father-in-law and my dog framed in between these trees. Uh, so I was pretty proud of this one. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, this is a picture of my wife. Uh, as some of you guys know, my wife works in the medical field. She's a nurse practitioner. So we wanted to take some photos of her uh, this year because uh, uh, she doesn't have a lot of like, uh, headshots and portraits and stuff like that um, for her like uh, um, for her to use professionally so I want to take a couple photos of her and this was my favorite one and like I said uh, certain photos I just kind of want to have in black and white and so this uh, this is my favorite photo that I took of my wife uh, with her uh, lab coat and her stethoscope walking on the street and like I said these are portraits so it's a uh, we wanted to just uh, kind of show that she works in the medical field without actually having to tell people. Uh, so um, yeah, I thought it was a really good photo uh, of my wife. This photo is uh, from uh, my neighborhood. Um, we have this trail that we always take every single day whenever we're not in Claremont or in a couple uh, cities over. So this is um, the trail that we frequent quite a bit. Uh, here in California, we don't get fall colors until pretty late in the year. And so um, I knew that we were getting more and more oranges and yellows uh, in this trail. So I wanted to take my camera as much as I could. So uh, on this day, the light was really, really beautiful. It was sunset and all these fall leaves were falling uh, down. So I really wanted to take a photo of this. And um, I wanted to take a photo that kind of had some uh, lines. So uh, 
I kind of wanted to frame it so you can still see the street, but you also saw a lot of the trees. So in context, it's, you know, it's not a trail. It's more just like a neighborhood. And, you know, have you guys, as you guys know, I'm a big pro proponent of just taking your camera everywhere, even if it doesn't seem like it's the most interesting thing, just getting that practice in and just, uh, just taking those photos, even if they're not going to go anywhere, it's pretty special because then you can go back and just think of, uh, the, day, the day that you took the photos in. So I was pretty proud of this photo. Um, this photo is of a house. I mean, you guys know, I like taking pictures of houses, especially uh, here in Claremont because every house is different. So um, this uh, photo I took uh, around sunset and the sun was hitting the the house exactly like right on it. So it was really uh, casting some really nice uh, or it had really nice light going to the house so I thought it was really nice with the warm tones and everything and it just kind of uh, encapsulates the way that um, the winter and fall are here in California where it's not cold but just cold enough for a light jacket uh, so uh, hopefully you kind of get that from this photo um, and yeah so I thought it was really cool So um, this photo uh, is from a different day uh, as well in, Cl in Claremont. It's um, as we were walking down the street, I saw this guy who was sitting on his roof and I believe he was eating like soup or uh, oatmeal or cereal, something like that. And um, the male, uh, the mailman was also here at the same time. So I really wanted to frame that because I thought it was a pretty funny uh, frame because it's just so random just a guy sitting on his roof and uh someone delivering mail uh so yeah i thought it was pretty interesting um i tried to frame both of them in it uh i wasn't so sure if i wanted to do like a portrait or a landscape of this but i ended up just doing uh, with um, a portrait kind of aspect ratio and so i thought it was pretty good um it still makes me laugh because it's just such a, a, a random thing and yeah, like I said, you never know when you're gonna find something interesting or that kind of a photo that you wanna take. So it's good to just carry your camera around. And I was really happy that I brought my camera that day. Um, this is a picture of a palm tree. I'm from California, so like I said, they're everywhere. So um, I wanted to take a picture of this really big uh, uh, palm tree, and, but I wanted to surround it with other greens that kind of, um, show you that it is fall here so i wanted to frame it around other greenery so those uh, these trees are almost uh, the leaves are almost falling and some greens on the right side some yellows on the other and i wanted to frame that in the center so i thought it was pretty interesting um so yeah so this is the last photo uh for november and uh, there's this park also here and a lot of people were sitting um in the lawn and um for some reason there was a lot of dust even though there was no one playing baseball here um, a lot of dust and it was kind of like making these really nice rays uh, bounce off of everything uh, with the sun and everything so uh, it was really cool to see in real life and I just kind of wanted to take a picture of it and yeah like I said fall in California it usually means a light jacket if a t-shirt so uh, yeah you would think that this would be a different day but um, this was taken in November so yeah I thought it was pretty pretty good and I'm glad I took this photo Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I know I didn't post a lot in November, but there was a lot going on and I didn't want to just make videos to make videos. So um, hopefully in December, I have more videos coming. I do have a couple of videos that I've been shooting on and off. They're kind of, uh, they're taking a while. It's a long process for these ideas. So hopefully you guys enjoy them, but stay tuned for in December for those videos. So um, again, if you have any questions about anything photography related or anything in general, uh, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And again, uh, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.